Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of a and b if we have a plus b equals to 10 and a b is also equals to 10 and we solve this problem for the values of a and b. So here first we call this is our equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2 <clears throat> and in the next step uh, here first we need to focus on equation number one and our equation number one is implies that here we need to move this a to the right hand side and it will be written as b is equals to 10 minus a and we call this is our equation number three so here we use this equation number three in equation number two and we uh, rewrite our equation number two as this is a b equals to 10 the value of a is a and the value of b is 10 minus a is equals to 10 so here we need more simplifications and it will be written as here we multiply this a separately on both of these two values and it will become here 10 a minus this is a times of a is equals to a square and this whole equation is equals to 10 and further in the next step here we need to move uh, both of these two values from left hand side to the right hand side this is minus a square when we move it into the right hand side it will become plus a square this is plus 10 a when we move it into the right hand side it will become minus 10 a and this is plus 10 is equals to 0. So this is the uh, uh, this equation will become here quadratic equation in a variable so that here uh, we we you know more that there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation the first method is uh, factorization method second one is completing square and third one is by applying the quadratic formula so that here uh, we use the quadratic formula to solve this equation so first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are capital a equals to 1 capital b equals to minus 10 and capital c is equals to 10 and we state the quadratic formula as small a is equals to minus capital b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of a c divided by 2 times of a so here uh, we need to substitute the values of uh, uh, a b and c here uh, so when we substitute uh, the, uh, the above values it will be written as we have our a is equals to this is minus b the value of b is minus 10 plus minus square root of b square b is minus 10 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 10 and it is divided by 2 times of a and here our a is equals to 1 so here we need more simplification and it will be written as this is minus times of minus becomes plus 10 and plus minus square root of minus 10 square becomes 100 and 4 times of 10 becomes 40 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2 and further in the next step we need more simplification and it will be written as this is 10 plus minus square root of this is 100 minus 40 and we know that 100 minus 40 becomes here 60 and it is divided by 2 so here we need to focus inside the square root sign uh, so inside the square root term is 60 and we write uh, 60 as in the form of this one is um, we write 60 as 15 times of 4 we know that 15 times of 4 becomes here 60 and it is divided by 2 so further in the next step uh, we need to uh, break this square root sign separately on both of these two values and it will be written as 10 plus minus uh, square root of 4 into square root of 15 and it is divided by 2 so further we need to break this fraction and it will be written as 10 divided by 2 plus minus here we know that square root of 4 becomes 2 times of square root of 15 divided by 2 so this is 2 times of 5 becomes 10 this 2 and this 2 are cancelled out by each other and we will get here a equals to 5 plus minus a square root of 15 so these are the two values of a and now here from these two values of a we need to find <coughs> the corresponding values of b so for this uh, we <coughs> need to uh, copy down equation number three here so that equation number three is implies that 
B is equal to 10 minus A. This is the over equation number 3 and here we break these values of A as here we write the positive value of A it is 5 plus square root of 15 and here we write the negative value it is 5 minus square root of 15. So these are the two values of A and here we need to uh, substitute uh, this value of a into the above equation so that our above equation is written as b equals to 10 minus a the value of a in this case is 5 plus square root of 15 and here we need to multiply this negative term on both of these two values and it will be written as 10 minus 5 minus square root of 15. So further in the next step we have this is uh, b is equals to 10 minus 5 becomes here 5 and minus square root of 15. So this is the value of b corresponding to the value of a is this one. So uh, here similarly uh, uh, in the second case uh, we need to substitute this value of a here and it will becomes here b equals to 10 minus a. The value of a in this case is 5 minus square root of 15 and further in the next step where we need to multiply this negative sign on both of these values and it will becomes minus 5 plus square root of 15 so we get the values of b equals to 10 minus 5 becomes 5 plus square root of 15 so this is the value of b corresponding to the value of a is this one okay so uh, finally we have there are two solutions of the given equation and these uh, solutions are a b equals to uh, the first solution is 5 plus square root of 15 into now the value of b is 5 minus square root of 15 this is the first solution and second solution is 5 minus square root of 15 into 5 plus square root of 15 so this is the our second solution so here we get these are the two solutions of the given equation but now here in the next step we need to verify that is these two solutions are satisfied our given question statement or not uh, so for this uh, for verification uh, we need to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is a plus b is equals to 10 and a b is also equals to 10 so these are the two values of a and b uh, so now here for verification i can just verify the first solution i, I can just verify this solution and i can left mm, the verification of the second solution for up to you you can verify yourself okay so we need to substitute uh, or verify these values so in in this solution we have the value of a is 5 plus square root of 15 and the value of b is 5 minus square root of 15 so we have these are the two values of a and b and now we can substitute both of these two values into the above both equations so when you put both of these values here it will becomes this is a plus b equals 10 we have the value of a is 5 plus square root of 15 the value of b is 5 minus square root of 15 and here we check that is this equals to 10 or not so this is the negative term this is the positive term are cancelled out by each other and we get here 5 plus 5 becomes 10 equals to 10 so this shows that both of the sides are equal when we choose the values of a or b or this one Similarly here we need to verify the second value, uh, second equation. So we put both of these values here and it will becomes 5 plus square root of 15 into 5 minus square root of 15 and we check that is this equals to 10 or not. So here we use the nice algebraic formula. So for this we write it as 5 square minus square root of 15 and its whole square is equal to 10. And here we get this is 5 square becomes 25 this 2 and square root are gone we get here 15 equals to 10 or not this is our verification and 25 minus 15 becomes 10 equals to 10 so this shows that uh, both of the sides are equal uh, it means that uh, the this solution satisfies our given question statement and similarly 
the second solution set is also verify our given question statement so this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos